Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous videos. And in this video, I am going to do a commissioning for a Shigo VRF and I will show you all the process how to do the commissioning and keep watching the video till the last to get the information how to do the commissioning for a VRF of Shigo. This is the master outdoor and this is the slave one and if you will see this is the slave two. We have three outdoor. First of all in the master you have to check here you can see here it's just written SW1 is the power set this one we don't have to change because this is the capacity what is the capacity of the outdoor they have set over here from the company itself and here we have to address in addressing is a master we have to keep it in zero and then we have to check the power supply voltage then we have to check the power supply how much power supply is coming L1 L2 L3 we have to check this one then we have to interconnect each outdoor in H1, H2 and E and we have to connect the PQE we have to connect the PQE which is coming from the indoor this is for the master and in the slave one what we have to set I will show you now on the slave one in the addressing setting we have to put on one as you can see here and here we have to connect H1, H2 and E and here also we have to check the power supply how much it is giving and here we don't have to connect PQE because PQE we have to connect only in the master as you can see we have loop here two cable and this is the slave two in the slave two you can see here we have put here on the two because this is the slave two we have set here in the addressing setting we have put two and here also we have to check the voltage for each line L1, L2 and L3 so as I show you we have to connect the PQE and we have to set the addressing setting and so and so and for Shigo we had the commissioning they put on default because from the factory itself they put the commissioning in default just we have to do the addressing setting and we have to do the vacuumizing all other process and then we have to start the unit and in this system we have to charge 40 kg of extra refrigerant as you can see our manifold gauge has been connected to the cylinder and to the manifold gauge and this is 4108 we have to keep 4108 ups and down first of all let's open the cylinder after opening the cylinder then we have to keep our cylinder ups and down and we have to flush it little bit and then we have to start our liquid charge as you can see as you can see here our rough resident is getting charged now Let's start charging the second cylinder now. A full cylinder with capacity of 1010 kg has been charged to our system. Now let's open the section wall. Our section wall is open now. Let's open the discharge wall. This is the oil balancing wall already which I have opened. Let's close the dead cap. Now let's open for the slave one. Now let's open the last slave two. And this one is for the all balancing, which already I have opened. Let's close the red cap. On the red cap. Now for all our masters, slave one and slave two, we have opened all the walls, section and discharge. Now we will connect the main PQE in our master. Let's connect the PQE now, because this unit we have keep minimum eight hours for preheating. 
let's connect now PQE okay and I have kept this unit from preheating minimum 8 hours and our compressor is already preheat our oil has get heated and for our VRF and VRV we have to do the preheating for our compressor oil minimum 4 to 6 hours and our PQE is also connected now our PQE is also connected now we are ready to do the power supply to our auto compressor already we have set everything now as you can see we have given the power for master slave one and you can see here on display you can see it's showing zero now we will check on the slave one it's showing zero let's press check a button and let's check how much auto we have uh, we have three auto now let's check how much indoor we have connected to this compressor we have to go up to the 26 we have to go up to 26 now i am on 26 it's showing 16 indoor connected to this three compressor as you can see now our system is on running condition and our fan is also running and i am not able to see you the dis show you the display and the hut is going up to 50 and 60 and our master master is working now and our slave slave also is showing 45 48 hertz and our commissioning has been completed thank you for watching video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel